Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. We invite you to join us at 1 Oakley Avenue in North Providence, Rhode Island. This podcast is presented to you by The Way Ministries, supported by listeners like you. For donations, live videos, podcasts, and more, please visit www.thewayministriesri.org. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. Glad you could join me today to get a portion of God's Word. Today we're going to begin with day 67, March 7th, which is reflection and worship. As I always say, it's a chance to look back on the previous six days. If you missed a couple of days to catch up on it, like I always say, don't beat yourself up. Just keep moving forward with the Lord and watch Him bless your life and come through. Okay, we're going to start. Leading the way. Be careful if you think you are leading people, they may be chasing you. Look back. Last month we read about Moses' leadership of God's people. Now we've just finished the book of Joshua, in which God calls Joshua to fill Moses' sandals. Leadership transitions are never easy. Anytime a leader of Moses' stature and longevity passes from the scene, there is good reason for the followers to wonder how the new leader will compare with his predecessor? Will he be kind or cruel? Will he walk in the footsteps of the one before him? Will he have his own agenda or follow God faithfully? What ultimately allowed a smooth transition from Moses to Joshua was the nation's realization that their true leader had never changed. The Lord had led Israel through Moses, his servant, and now the Lord would lead Israel through his servant Joshua. So continued the pattern of servant leadership the nation had known for 40 years. After a fitting farewell for Moses, Joshua led the nation on a memorable crossing of the flood-swollen Jordan River and began a seven-year campaign to conquer and drive out the inhabitants of the Promised Land. Out of a total of 31 battles, Joshua would lose only one. Can you name it? A temporary setback quickly corrected. Look up. In children's games, anyone can be a leader. For instance, in a game like Follow the Leader, everyone takes a turn. But what about leadership in the household of faith? Who are the leaders? Are the leaders made or born? How do you know when you have the qualifications for leadership? Regardless of your present role of leadership or fellowship in the family of God, it is a worthy ambition to obtain more leadership responsibilities. 1 Timothy 3.1 But leadership is not for everyone. In fact, the qualifications set forth in 1 Timothy 3 and Titus 1 may surprise you. They have nothing to do with your net worth, your degrees, or number of civic clubs you belong to. Leadership isn't something to be earned. It is a recognition of spiritual maturity, proving character, and the reputation you have developed both inside and outside the church. If you aspire to be a leader in ministry within the family of God, then ask yourself, how well have I managed the other responsibilities I have been entrusted with? Have I managed well my physical body, my mind, my family, my resources, my tongue, my reputation? Am I hospitable, teachable, mature, worthy of respect, self-controlled, honest in all my dealings? Worthy of respect. If the answer to these questions is yes, then an expanded leadership role may be appropriate for you. Look ahead. Regardless of whether an enlarged leadership responsibility may be in your future, the attitude of a servant leader ought to be your ambition. Listen to this exhortation from the Apostle Peter. Care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly. Not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. And all of you, serve each other in humility. First Peter 5, 2-5. Emphasis added. Servants like that are the kind of leaders God is looking for. That's all for today, my friends. It was great reading with you. Have a great day, and God bless, and I will see you tomorrow. Lord willing, peace.